24 years old, been in the business for 1.4 years and already made over 400,000 as an agent in my team, who is none other than Claire Galley. So I'm bringing him to share his story. Say stay tuned. Namaskar, welcome back. This is Aditya Soma. If you're new to this channel, make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't know me, probably you know this channel. We talk about real estate sales, real estate investing, financial freedom, all those things. And here I have a new guest. Probably not a new guest. <laughs> Been here a few times, a few times. Yeah, so, you know, the, like I mentioned, today we're gonna talk about how you made this freaking 300,000 in your first year, man. Before we go there, first of all, who are you? How old are you? Yeah, so, uh, so diving right into it, um, Clark Alley, Windsor local here, born and, uh, born and raised in South Windsor. Uh, moved to LaSalle for a bit, now out in Lakeshore, so familiar with a lot of Windsor here. Good. Um, just turned 24, three, four days ago now. Yeah, 24. <laughs> and, Happy uh, birthday, Billy. Thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's a little about me. Nice, man. So 24, how do you feel about making that many sales, right? Like, you know, in the first year, 50 plus? Just under 50. Just under 50. Yeah. But the gross commission was like 300,000. Uh, I actually checked before I came here. It was a little, it was just under 350 actually. Under 350? Yeah. Holy cow. So <laughs> I was actually trying to do the less numbers here then. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Then we're going to talk more. Yes. So first of all, how did you get into sales? Why sales? Yeah. So originally I got into sales actually back in high school. Um, I worked with actually Matt and Cass, someone yep. you're very familiar yeah. with. Uh, <laughs> they had a, this painting business called Student Works Painting. Yep. Um, so I was in high school, a couple of my friends actually worked for Matt and Cass and then reached out to me and said, hey Clark, I think you'll like these people. They seem to be, you know, of your same vibe, your yep. same kind of nature. You, you, like they, they, so they ended up introducing me, um, sat down with Matt and Cass. They said, this window cleaning company, do you want to do door to door sales? Now, I was a big <laughs> introvert. Like I'm not the most extroverted person out there. I'm not the life of the party by any means. Um, so when they said that, that was super nerve wracking for me. So I read up a bunch on how to do door to door sales. You know, I watched people on YouTube do these cold calls. Just how does that even happen? Um, how old were you at this time? I was in grade 10. Grade 10, oh wow. So probably like 17, 18? 17, probably around there. Okay, okay. Um, I had a couple of dishwasher jobs before then, but uh, in- So how, how did that go? The door, door knocking and all those things? So it went pretty well. Um, you know, in the first houses, I was, you know, just like dripping sweat, knocking at the door. Um, <laughs> I can imagine. But face super red, barely get words out. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, after I told myself, do 100 doors, knock on 100 doors and just see if you like it at the end of it. Um, so after my 100th door, uh, you know, I made sales after that. Oh, you made sales? <laughs> Before okay, and after. Okay. Um, it was 15, 15 bucks or 25 bucks a lead. Um, so they said, just get one, one estimate and an hour and you make 15 bucks an hour. So I was like, yeah. okay, I gotta, I gotta beat that. How can I, how can I do more? So after doing, you know, knocking a hundred doors, doing the sales, um, that's kind of my first, I guess, foyer into, uh, into sales. Wow. So like, um, how long did you door knock for like, you know, how many sales did you make overall in that? The exact sales I forget. Um, I remember that I did more than one an hour and that was kind of my huge goal. Oh, wow. Or sorry, yeah, more, more than one an hour. I wanted to beat minimum wage doing, doing sales. <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. Um, and, uh, and yeah. How long did you do that? So I did it for a summer. Um, oh, like just summer holidays. Yeah, okay. yeah. So it was kind of it's kind of throughout the school year because uh, mm -hmm. after we did all the work, Matt and Cass, you know, they had the students actually paint for them. Um, so I did painting for the whole summer for them, uh, and then kind of did sales before and yeah. before and after that. So was there any horrible stories? You know, someone knock on your door, face, or you know. I remember the one store, my one friend was kind of behind watching me. There was a lot of people that, you know, slammed the door on your face. Yeah. Um, but I remember one time, this is when I didn't really know anything about construction or, or painting or whatever. Um, but I remember I was on someone's deck and I noticed the deck was like collapsing. There's a lot of rot in there. So I tried to convince them that by painting, that'll solve that issue. Okay. <laughs> and they're like, man, my, my, my deck is rotting here. I was like, no, yeah. trust me, put some paint on it, cover it up, it's really nice. <laughs> It'll get you through the summer. They're like, mate, you have no idea what you're talking about. Just, that, was, that was a horrible story, but uh, now I know better and know that. <laughs> Did they push you out of the house or? <laughs> they were just like, I'm, I'm, we're done talking, get out of here. It was, <laughs> that, was a, that was a funny one. But so, you know, if someone very young like you, when, mm. uh, when you were, um, would you suggest them doing those things? Like, oh, 100%. Um, just getting in front of people and practicing, you know, even conversing with them, trying to sell somebody something. Um, 
it, it's so in depth. You know, there's so many things from learning their needs, learning what yeah. they need. Does your product fit for them? That I didn't even know, right? I was just yeah. get them to sign their name and number, and I get fifteen bucks. <laughs> <laughs> was 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 my goal, right? So you know, going through the process helped me realize that there's so much more to it than, than just that. Yeah, so if you're young, like, you know, 16, 17, you want to become a aspiring, you know, really good at sales, then then probably start with what you have. Like, you know, that's the really good place to start with. Mm -hmm. So after that, what happened? How did you get into real estate then? Um, yeah, so after that, uh, the next summer, I actually did my own college pro business. Mm -hmm. um, so I bought into the franchise, ran that for a summer. Oh, so pretty much like, you were doing as an employee before and now you become a, one of the franchise owner for yeah, the same. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a great improvement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, so from, from that summer, you know, I saved up all my money, um, bought into the franchise the next summer, and then uh, I hired on two employees. And then I was kind of running in Matt and Cass position. I was kind of doing that the next summer. And uh, it got to learn a lot more from sales on kind of their behalf as a manager, um, yeah. have employees kind of do the door knocking. Um, you know, manage the employees, actually fulfill the work, uh, collect the invoices and, and all that stuff. So I got more of a sense of how to run a business um, the, next, the next year. So when was this? Like the next summer or? Yeah, yeah, it was oh, okay, the, next, okay. the next summer. Wow, when you're pretty much like 19. Yeah, yeah. Crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make money? Um, yeah, I remember that summer, uh, total profit, I think I cleared 20 grand. Wow. So yeah, it's, it's a, just in the summer for the four months. Cause it was just a summer business. Yeah, um, for, for a young kid like that, you know. Yeah, it was pretty well, it was pretty well. So like, you know, what made you to like, you know, go from just the door knocking to taking the franchise? Like why that shift happened? Like what was the reason behind that? Yeah, you know, the biggest thing for me um, was just, you know, I think early on I kind of looked at, you know, prices of everything and average income for jobs I was looking at and realized there's certain lifestyles I want to have that I'm never going to get based on what I'm seeing. <laughs> Makes sense. Based on these numbers, I just realized, you know, what I want to do with my life, that, that's not adding up. How do I make more money than the average salary for these positions I was looking at? Makes um, sense. And uh, yeah, sales kind of just ultimately led me to these kind of business endeavors and, uh, and here, here we are. Man, love it. So far, loving it. So then what happened? What happened? How did you get into real estate then? Because that student work was going well. Yeah, yeah, I know student work go well, you know, um, not obviously what I want to do the rest of my life. <laughs> um, but then that summer, actually working with Matt and Cass, I really, really loved everything they were doing. Um, this is kind of as they were just starting Win City. I think Cassidy became a realtor the next year yeah. after, after, actually. And then you kind of got introduced with her after that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, they started to get into real estate. And one of the jobs they had me paint was a triplex they bought in Walkerville. Yep, I um, remember that. So I was sitting there painting it and I was like, these guys are like 22, 23. How do they own this beautiful triplex by the water? And I was like, Matt and Cass, sit down with me. I need you for three hours. Just teach me everything you know about real estate. Um, so then they kind of taught me, you know, everything they know. And uh, that also kind of got me got me hooked into it. Yeah, so your mentors are also the Matt and Cass. Matt and Cass, Cass yes, they Same were. Same thing. They were. Man, thank you, Matt and Cass. If you guys are watching this, you, know, you changed my life and Kirk's <laughs> too. That's awesome. Yep. So that's when you started to think about investing side. Yeah. But um, how the sales happen? So, yeah, so I was looking at real estate and then I looked at, okay, you need 5% down. It's a lot of money, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for just coming out of high school. I was like, how do I get this money myself? Um, that's, you know, it's a lot of money to come up with. So I had, you know, obviously I was running the business, had some money there, um, but then I also realized, okay, I need to make, you know, quicker money even quicker than I was doing at College Pro. How did I do that? Um, so wholesaling was kind of my first my yeah, first endeavor. Yeah. And the first deal I wholesaled was to Matt and Cass. I think that's where we met, the sixplex, right? That was the first sale or the second one? No, it was one on Peter, actually. Oh, okay. We met on the one on Campbell. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, I remember I called, those was another one I was trying to wholesale, calling, yeah, up, yeah. calling up other guys. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that, so get this, the first wholesale idea I did, mm -hmm. I negotiated 5% down, vendor take back for I think 3% wow. on a duplex for under 100K. And did you take the deal or did you give it to I them? gave it to them. That's insane. And your first deal? <laughs> My first wholesale deal. Shit, I didn't know that. <laughs> That's insane. I should have taken it myself, but you know, I kind of talked about my parents. My parents are super risk averse. They didn't like me getting into business at all. They were like, Clark, this is your first property. Do you even know how to be a landlord? Like you're 20 years old. Like, do you really want to be doing this stuff? Um, so my parents actually talked me out of it. Um, wish I went for it myself. It was a killer deal. 
but uh, I ended up wholesaling it and making some, you know, a couple grand off that, and uh, it was still, still a good deal for me, good deal for them. Man, that really tells me something, especially if you're young, right? Like, what did you do to get to that deal? How many doors did you knock? Um, yeah, just on Kijiji, just any for sale by owner. Just, just call. Just call, just call, just call. So, you have no excuses, man. When he was 20, he was just calling people and asking all those questions, right? Mm -hmm. how, how did you know what to ask? Um, bigger pockets. So when I was doing the College Pro, actually, um, every time I was doing a job, I would download a Bigger Pockets podcast, and every day I would listen, listen to one to podcast. It was like you know, number one to two hundred. There, were, I just learned every everything I could. Love it, man. <laughs> so that's the thing, right? Like you know, if you're trying to excuse yourself for not doing something, but there is already resources available out there. So many. It's Matt McKeever, Jeff Weibo, Aditya Soma. Like there is, <laughs> there is so many, so many everywhere. Resources. It's just. You take that and take the freaking actions. You mm -hmm. just took the actions, right? Like just yep. that one deal on the first, like how, how long did it take to get onto that deal? I think from- It's a rough timing. Yeah, from my initial call, like obviously it's a bunch of calls in between, yeah, yeah. but that specific one, I think it was like a week, maybe two weeks. So probably like in a week or two, even if I have to assume like you were making calls like one month. Probably, probably, probably about that, yeah. So one month, your returns are like, you, you got a deal who is willing to do when to take back, who is just asking for 5% down. That's a, a crazy good deal. So if you do that for, you know, 10 months, if, even if you can find three properties, you're, you will become a millionaire in like five years from then. Yeah, after I did the one, I was like, I have to... I'm, I'm not working a job. I have to do this again. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it was cause I was in my first class. Uh, I was in, I think first or second year university mm -hmm. at that time. Um, and I remember so did you complete your university. Yes. Yeah, so yes. I okay. completed university. <laughs> um, but yeah, I remember the first or second year of university. I uh, got the text that they accepted the offer mm -hmm. and then got the e-transfer. And I was like, this is, this is insane. I was like wow. sitting in my class, listening to lecture, looking at my phone, <laughs> seeing, seeing the money come in. And I was like, this is, this is crazy. <laughs> this is real. <laughs> yeah. 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 So probably that I was, I was hooked as well. So, okay. So now you got into real estate pr pretty much like after, uh, after you got out of your college. Um, yeah. So right after college, um, I was at that time I wasn't debating I was kind of debating what I wanted to do with my life yeah you know after going through college I had some dabbling in real estate um, and uh, yeah I wanted to figure out what exactly I wanted to do you know do I want to get more into kind of finance corporate finance um, computer science I had kind of a degree in both yeah uh, so yeah I was kind of still debating where I wanted to go so I actually worked for CBRE um, yeah. it was a commercial real estate company they're the biggest in the world as an employer or salesperson um, it was kind of a employee to salesperson. But you're not a licensed agent at that time. At right? that time, yeah. Okay. So it was an employee, and then once you kind of go through the licensing, then mm -hmm. I was kind of an agent with them. Okay. Um, so yeah, I did a lot of kind of, that was where I got really entered into like large real estate deals. Um, Bigger money. <laughs> they were selling, you know, $30 million plazas, um, five, $10 million office buildings, industrial, industrial buildings. Um, huge vacant land plays. So that was a huge entryway into about this whole other kind of corporate real estate level. Yeah. Um, these big dogs playing, playing in the city, right? Um, so after doing that for, I think it was close to a year, um, I was kind of looking, okay, I can either be a real estate agent with them and kind of do this kind of corporate real estate finance, or I actually kind of saw your videos at the time. Yeah. So as I started seeing Aditya put your videos out there, I saw Marco kind of do some stuff. Uh, I thought, you know, that's kind of where I started. You know, start with Matt and Kath, start with the wholesaling, bigger pockets. That's where I kind of started, and that's where I really like to be. Um, this corporate real estate stuff was really exciting, doing these multi-million dollar deals. <laughs> but I really liked, you know, doing the small stuff for the small guys for ourselves. So I think yeah. that's kind of where I really made the transition back to. Uh, so back pretty to much you. like you got your license and you joined Win City, correct? Yes. Yes. Right after. So. Technically, you had some experience, but you know, not a whole lot of experience being a salesperson. Yes, I actually did a property management company in between there as well. Okay, so you got some management experience. So um, now you're a brand new realtor, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know, you started sales. So what is the things that you really feel like that got you to make that much money in the first year? Because that's a lot of money, man. It was, it was, a, it was a big year. It was a big year. So what... What are the few reasons you think you were able to make that happen? Um, I think one, just surrounding myself with the right people. Um, I think I had a lot of the knowledge to do, to know what I had to do to kind of talk to these people, but just the stuff you were doing. Um, you know, the first two months, you know, you training me, kind of teach me, hey, Clark, this is how you do it step by step, follow this process. 
And I did. And yeah. <laughs> I think that was a big, big part of it. Um, but yeah, just being able to, you know, stick to the process. Like we yeah. deal with investors. Um, we deal with mainly buyers. Yeah. Uh, so I think, okay, carve that niche. I want to be the best, you know, buyer investment realtor in the city. I like wholesale deals. I know how to get deals. Yeah. I want to get, you know, the lowest price possible property out there that investors love. I want to be the best guy in Windsor for that. And you know how to run the numbers. Yeah. You know what goes into the management side. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing, right? Like if you're a brand new person, like you need to have the knowledge because so many people distract you. Uh, if you're a salesperson, you don't need to have a knowledge about the product. Mm -hmm. No, heck no. You need to have a very good knowledge. Yeah. You know, that's a big part of my success too. Like, you know, I was an investor because I was buying properties. I know what it takes, you know, to buy a property, mm -hmm. you know, how to negotiate and all those things. So that's a very good point. Like you got to know your craft. Yeah. So what else? Like, you know, I know as a salesperson, definitely you would have faced some hurdles. Yes. <laughs> so how would you like, are you, is there anything that you can think of like where you thought, fuck, I want to give up? Yeah, no, there was a, uh, not really give up. Like, I think I told myself, hey, I'm doing this realtor for being a first year. Like, this is a year of my life. This is a year of my, you know, young 20s. I'm not, mm -hmm. you know, screwing around. Like, I'm doing years as a realtor. I'm going to go as hard as I can. Um, so I don't think, I really didn't have a plan B. Um, that's it was kind of like, I have to make this work. <laughs> um, that's a right mindset, man. That's, that's a really, that's what I see a lot of people, you know, mumble, oh, they just look at the shiny objects. Oh, the, here I'm, I can get more better. Here mm -hmm. I can get more better. But like, now when you know already what you're getting into and when you know what you're doing will definitely produce the results you just doubled in yeah yeah exactly because i kind of worked that you know corporate life for a little bit um so i realized you know there's a lot of hours in the day i'm quitting that due to realtor full-time i have to fill my day you know there has to be a lot of output coming out for me every day um to be able to you know at least try my best it was the kind of way i did it um, and, uh, you know, another thing that I really, really value for us is, you know, touring a bunch of properties. Yeah. Um, and like you said, with, with objections, like if someone's like, oh, Clark, this property doesn't really work, work well for me. I go, okay, pros, cons, why or why not? Yeah. Let's evaluate this property for everything it has to offer. Evaluate every other property for everything it has to offer. Everything that's sold for everything it has to offer. Why is this one perfect or not perfect for you? Give me reasons why. Let's substitute in for another one and do that same process again. That's a great way. So literally like analyzing the situation mm -hmm. uh, again you know sometimes even the clients doesn't know what they are looking for exactly you, you as a professional you're guiding them mm -hmm. now that that that's one thing i always notice in you like you're good with those guidings and asking those right questions right mm -hmm. so that's great man I, I'm, I'm really pumped up you know because you have uh, even more fantastic years ahead um one more quick thing is like how did win city play role in your you know the whole career as a realtor yeah, I think Wind City was obviously a big part of it. <laughs> um, you know, because at the beginning, one of the big things challenging for realtors as well is, you know, leads. Um, you have to work with, you know, find like there's a whole business and just kind of finding people that are looking for properties. And then another part of the business is kind of fulfilling that sales role and actually finding them the property. Yep. Um, so that big first step, I think you solved a lot of that. Yeah. Um, you said, hey, Clark, here's, you know, a lot of buyers I'm working with. I don't have the time to fulfill it. Because that's another big thing about beginning realtors. Yeah. You have time. Seasoned, exactly. seasoned realtors and investors, they don't have time. So I knew as a beginning agent, I have a tons of time. Aditya has these leads he can't spend enough time with. Clark, you take this on. So maybe if I didn't have, you know, the skill set Aditya had at the time, I had enough time to give the client where I was going to, you know, almost over deliver um, to make up for the little lack of knowledge that I didn't have. Yeah, man, that's a really good point because, you know, that's how I look at it. Like, this business is like definitely 50% of the business is generating the leads, 50% is serving the leads and, you know, making sure they're coming back. Mm -hmm. So now, like you made your mind really clear. I'm not c carrying this 50% of side. I'm focusing on this one because this is the one going to bring me money, mm -hmm. but I'm going to partner with someone because, you know, technically we are partners yep. where you're, I'm bringing this leads in and I'm giving it to you. You're, you're craft, like really becoming an expert at, converting those leads yeah so that's a really really good thing so what's your plans for next uh, year or two like what's what, what's going on what do you um what's your future look like yeah you know future is uh sticking with wind city as a realtor side um i really like you know the synergy we have on here i really like the team and kind of what we're allowing people uh, i think there's a lot of realtors out there that don't 
do the level of service we do, honestly. Yeah, um, definitely, no question. So I, I honestly think we're the best best service out there. Um, so I want to continue to provide that as a realtor. Um, and on the investing side, you know, grow my tiny home business and maybe yeah. look at kind of bigger developments in the, in the next few years as well. Yeah, so just quickly to touch on like, what's tiny home? I, I know, you know that, <laughs> that we haven't touched. So he's having another business, so. <laughs> Yeah, so my other, um, my other business is uh, a tiny home business. Um, essentially, we do detached accessory dwellings prefab in a shop outside of Windsor. Um, so we build majority of the house off-site, ship it to the site, and you know, assemble the whole yeah. property within you know, 30, 30 days or so. So in simple, if you have a single family home, you want to increase your cash flow, put a second unit, but for economical prices, then you're gonna call Clark and his partner. They can help you just literally assemble a new home on your backyard within two to three months. Yes. That's it. Like you literally, you can start making more cash flow on your property. Yep. Man, that's a great concept. I definitely believe you guys are gonna rock on that side as well. Like, you know, that's, that's a really something that I feel a future, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of people want to have their parents in the backyard or have extra cash flow yep. or, you know, have a siblings or whatever the different stories, they want extra room, mm -hmm. but detached from the house. Yep. So that's a, that's a really solid concept that you've seen. And with that, thank you so much for having, you know, being here. Thank you. And good luck with everything, man. All right. Thank you. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a comment. And if you're new, looking into getting into real estate, or if you're been in the as a realtor, just FYI, we are looking for another buyer agent because you know we have more leads, more people coming in to you know asking to help. Of course, you know both of us cannot handle, and we want another good solid realtor who can handle those leads. So reach out to us. We'll have the email and phone number below or on my Facebook or Instagram. So happy to help you guys with that. See you in the next video.